Hey, what's going on? It's Brad here from gigapress.net. And this video is part of the WordPress Masterclass, which is my full length video course for WordPress beginners. If you find it helpful and you wanna sign up for the full course, you can do so by clicking the link in the description below. So what exactly can you do with WordPress? Well, WordPress started out as a pretty simple blogging platform, and it's had a bit of a hard time shaking that reputation. Don't get me wrong, you can still absolutely build a blog with WordPress, but the fact is today it's capable of so much more. Business websites, portfolios, landing pages, e-commerce stores, uh, forums, social networks, private membership sites, you can build just about anything with WordPress. Now, WordPress itself is actually pretty simple, but it's specifically designed to be modified and extended. And that's primarily done through themes and plugins. Themes control the appearance of your site and plugins control the functionality. If you wanna change the way your site looks, you install a theme. If you want to add a feature that WordPress doesn't offer out of the box, you install a plugin. Now, of course, we're going to be doing plenty of that later on, but I wanted to introduce the idea right up front so you understand sort of how WordPress works and how it's capable of doing so much. There's another side of the coin here, though. Sure, WordPress is technically capable of doing a lot of different things, but what about legally? This is actually one of the key benefits of WordPress. And remember, we're talking about WordPress.org here, the free WordPress software. WordPress is open source, and it's licensed under the GNU General Public License, or the GPL. What that essentially means is you're free to use and modify the WordPress software, as well as any themes and plugins you install. And you can use them for any purpose, personal or commercial, for as long as you want without having to pay licensing fees or anything like that. You own your site, you own your data, and you own your content. You're not at the mercy of some website building service that could shut down without notice or raise their prices at any moment. You control everything. So in other words, you can use what you learn in this course for all sorts of practical applications. Building a stunning website for your business or your side project, starting a blog, or even charging clients to build websites for them. That can be quite lucrative, either as a side hustle or a full-on freelance business if you want to go that route. So again, those are some of the things you can do with WordPress. As we move forward, you're gonna see a lot of examples and ultimately we're gonna get you to a level of proficiency where you will feel comfortable building any of these different types of websites regardless of your individual goals. Thanks for checking out this video. As I mentioned at the top, this video is part of my WordPress masterclass, which I've designed to be the definitive beginner's guide to building beautiful, functional websites with WordPress. It's a comprehensive step-by-step -step course, and the goal is to get you to a level of proficiency where you feel comfortable building pretty much any type of website, from a simple blog to a complex e-commerce store, all without writing a single line of code. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more WordPress content.